Okay guys, I'm gonna try to make this video in about how to make a custom thumb uh, using this thermoplastic material that um, allows you to not have to drill anything. I don't really measure pitches or um, anything like that. I just kind of go by comfort and what feels right. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but that's me. Uh, so just take it at face value. Um, done this maybe just twice and learn a little bit each way, each time I've done it. And I'm going to see if I can do this in, <laughs> in one take and uh, be able to show you. I don't know if you want to try to do this yourself or if you just call me crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'm all about learning, so you know you can give me all the comments you want. Um, so I'm just using switch grips, uh, really like them and just adapted this. I get a, a blank inner and, um, this is the first time I've done this cause I've learned from previous attempts, um, to, that I need, um, you'll see kind of why I'm doing this, that I, that I need to have a way to put the inner in and out of the ball, uh, without, uh, having any way of gripping it like you normally do. So what I'm going to do now, I just taped off the bottom of this so that I can fill the bottom with a little bit of acrylic and then I'm going to use just a big old Allen wrench. I'm going to just I'm just trying this for the first time, so bear with me. And I'm going to create a way that I can take this thing in and out without touching the sides of it. Okay? So first thing is I've got a bunch of acrylic here, and I'm going to mix it up and go for broke. Okay, so this is just methyl methacrylate resin. Mix it up. Smells like a nail salon. Not that I should know what a nail salon smells like, but it does. And I'm going to pour that smack dab into the middle of this till I get the holes covered and I just magically mixed enough I'm gonna let that set a little bit and then I'm gonna sink this Allen wrench right into the middle of it hopefully it's not leaking because I don't want to get it all around those nubs the little locking mechanism of the of the switch grip just kind of give that a second. All right, try to get it smack dab in the middle. I'm just going to hold it there and let this set. I'm probably going to have to edit some of this video, hopefully speed it up. You don't have to listen to my droning voice. I'm good at put, putting people to sleep, especially at work. So I'm just going to start pumping this a little bit. As it's setting, Hopefully I don't get it stuck in there. I pre-lubricated the end of the Allen wrench with some a little bit of grease. You can do it with Vaseline, something like that. Just pump, pump, pump. Something that I think about is like, this is a little bit crazy. And maybe... Uh, bunch of extra steps but you also notice I don't have a drill press so it avoids having to do that and uh, I started doing this because my thumb I'll try to show it to you if I remember um, is kind of odd shaped like some people have it's real oval real hourglass shaped and uh, doing a thumb for me is a little bit tricky 
So this allows me to mold the thumb very, very, it's a direct, it's, it's very uh, functional as I call it. I'm going to end up putting that thermoplastic material in here and I'm going to use my thumb to just, I'm going to pretend like I'm releasing the ball and uh, in doing so kind of shape that material and that's so it stays in there it's not like I'm making an impression that I'm gonna to have to re-pour with some kind of other material I'm, I'm making it and it's done so now we're starting to set hopefully this is lubed enough it doesn't lock in there it's taking a while a lot longer probably because it's cold here in my garage All right, it's getting close. It's starting to warm up. Just keep on pumping it. There we go. So now I'm going to end up having a essentially a, a giant grub screw. I can take in and out of this ball. Make sure it's through the center. And keep doing this while this material cures because it shrinks and you can lock it. Um, yeah, the one or two other times that I've done this, it's, it's kind of difficult because you want to be able to take this thing in and out of the ball and put it into a, a hot water bath so that you have that material moldable. You'll see what I mean once, once I get to doing it. Keep on doing this while it's set, and it's pretty much set, but you can never be too sure. We're in pretty good shape now. Let that set. Start peeling the tape off. And you might be able to see there's the, the red of that acrylic and the end of my oops, the end of my Allen wrench. I might have a little extra that did seep out there. Trim that with a knife. Be able to get it in and out of the um, of the outer. If it interferes, yeah, it might interfere. Let's get a little knife. Get that out of the way. All right. Let's see if that worked. Okay. Boom. All right, we're in good shape. All right, next step. Yeah, you can see. All right, so I'm going to trim this inner so that it's essentially flush with the outer and um, be able to then fill the thumb with that moldable material and, and mold away. And I, I need to have that excess part of that inner removed. All right, so I'm going to do that the Dremel or whatever, and then uh, I'll restart the the uh, film here, okay?